Hello everyone, we are here today with the 2007 Kia Sedona 2.9 liter diesel manual gearbox, seven passenger minivan. Doing a video tour walk around so you know what it's like in person. It's got alloy wheels, really good tread on the tires, no rust on the arches, got the good luggage rack system. We've got a dent in this rubber uh, bumper here in the corner. That can certainly be popped out. You've got a little bit of a break in the paint there, so that will stay. But that, that crease will definitely pop out. Parking sensors, which work despite the bump. Another little kind of ding there. And then the plastic and the lens here, a little bit of the plastic portion missing. The bulbs all work. Uh, that's how we receive the vehicle on part exchange. It runs and drives great. It starts instantly, cold or hot. Uh, cold or hot, no issues there. It's got power doors. And um, yeah, that's the vehicle. Front glass is all good. No chips or cracks there. Let's take a look inside. So this is your front door. No rust or corrosion in the wheel wells or at the bottom of the doors. You've got power locks, power windows. Dual zone uh, climate control. CD player. You've got cup holders up front and in the back. You've got a little bit of these wispy bits on the seats. You can take a, a men's shaving razor and just lightly brush against that and that cleans it up perfectly. A little bit of mild stains. The, the interior can do with a, a nice valet, that's for sure. So this is the full power doors. You've got your back seats. Carpets are all very clean. You flip this up and these come up and can be removed, so if you want to use the vehicle as a cargo van, those are your rear seats, they're folded down at the moment. All of the carpets are in the back. So that just snaps in. And then let me hold this because I'm pointing right now. Put that back up. There we go. You've got your Rolls Royce picnic trays there. Throw your drink in there. One on each side. So you can see the power closing doors. So that's on both sides. Uh, they're supposed to work remotely and from the button inside the, the front cabin, but they're they're only working uh, by pulling the handle at the moment. There is an actuator on each door. They're very cheap. They're about 20 to 30 pounds a piece, um, or 20 to 30 dollars, depending on what market you're in on eBay. And there's a, there's a nice guide on kia-forums.com that shows you how to replace them. But if you want them working by, if you want the power doors working by these buttons up here or by the remote, you'll need to get those two little bits replaced. Not a big deal at the end of the day, you just use them as a manual door or as a power by initiating the handle pull. Okay, so this is the driver's door. You've got all of your power windows. These are your electric window controls for these back corner windows. All of the windows work, including those. Um, what else? What else? I think that covers all the bases. So, let's go ahead and hop in the car and go for a drive. Okay. So, we've got two keys with these nice modern remote key fobs, they work. Again, if you look on the key, you can see the two, one, two door controls. You just gotta get that power door actuator replaced to get it working with that. So, key in the on position. You can see everything powers on. You've got the um, air conditioning there, your CD player. There's rear uh, air conditioning controls there as well. All right, so we turn the key, starts right up. 
idles nice and smooth. We'll go outside so you can hear the engine. Sounds how a diesel should. And we'll look at the exhaust. And you'll note that you cannot see the exhaust exactly what you want. No nuclear mushroom cloud coming out the back. All right. So, there we go. We've got no warning lights. We've got some diesel. All right. Seat belt is in. Bada bing, bada boom. It's in first. Okay, I think we're ready to go. All right, so away we go. First gear there, second gear there. We're just driving down this little country lane. A few speed bumps up here. There we go. As we brake to a stop, there's no squeaks or squeals. And oh, you know what? I need to. Got the radio working there. Okay, we're in business. Go back in first. Steering's nice, it's not too heavy. Second gear. And we're cruising along in third. Nice and smooth. Again, no warning lights, there's no funny business at all. Drives nice, nice and smooth. We're in fourth gear, coming around this corner. And again, no funny sounds, no um, 